It was the desire of Srila Mukti Siddhanta Sarasri Thakur. It was the desire of Srila Prabhupada that there actually be a spiritual organization with spiritual principles of management. You can see the genius of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasri Thakur and Srila Prabhupada. Understanding how the world was changing and pushing Vaishnavism out of the village guru type of mentality. And as you can see today in the world, if you know anything about how the world works, which is not absolutely necessary. <laughs> what is dominating the world today? <clears throat> what do you think? Prime ministers, presidents? Does it really matter so much who's president, who's prime minister in terms of world influence? No, it's multinational corporations, which are most of them bigger than many nations in the world in terms of uh, economic impact. <laughs> They're Financial uh, turnover is higher than many nations. <laughs> Just like, for example, last year, <coughs> ExxonMobil. Uh, every year, they, their profits keep becoming record breakers. So last year, in clear profit beyond expenses, $52 billion. <laughs> That's more than so many nations in the world. So we can see <clears throat> the genius of our parampara, recognizing what is the most suitable way for conditioned souls to be reached and cultivated in this age of Kali, this present time. How is it that Different spiritual masters cooperate in a worldwide institution. <clears throat> Srila Prabhupada gave that task, as well as the entire coordination <coughs> of the ISKCON Society. He gave that to the Governing Body Commission, the GBC. No one is sure. So, actually, uh, in terms of the ultimate direction of this society. Uh, it's in, it is, this is different than the Indian village guru system. I think a lot of devotees may not understand that. Uh, because uh, sometimes I'm speaking as someone who does a service of initiating devotees, and also sometimes I'm speaking as a GBC member, responsible for a particular area of the world. Maybe I can contribute to the confusion. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
it is the responsibility of the governing body commissioners to guide the direction of our spiritual society and to ensure spiritual standards. So now we can say this system is no longer some kind of peculiarity. It is <laughs> the, by far the predominant system in the world for spreading bhakti. There's no other system that really can compare in the slightest. Although there are many sadhus, Vaishnav sadhus, who still go on in the village system of guru, disciple. And but please understand that. For example, we have here, I don't mean to embarrass him, but for your education, you have Shesha Prabhu, and he's a governing body commissioner. <clears throat> Whether or not he accepts disciples is not the point. <laughs> he is responsible for the spiritual standards and nourishment of the society and caring for devotees. So just because he may walk in and doesn't have, you know, Little devotees running around saying, Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. In no way diminishes his stature. In fact, we should try to understand the, ser the service and extraordinary qualities of each Vaishnava. Initiating disciples is a particular service. It's not something you do because I want to be a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a movie star. <clears throat> One point I'd like to raise because it embarrassed me a little bit, although I know the intention was very devotional. Uh, I very much appreciated the book distribution uh, video. This was Amazingly well done and very sincere. It's just that at the end, I, I kind of grimaced a little bit uh, when devotees were on the street and they were chanting the parampara. And I appreciate their devotion, but I was feeling for those uh, who are uh, disciples of other spiritual masters. I particularly, I always point this out, I, Gurudev is a generic term, Guru Maharaj Gurudev, but Srila Gurudev is, is just a bit too much. I, I want to publicly say that. I've said it privately again and again. I, it's not, I don't find it necessary. Uh, Gurudev, Guru Maharaj is a term of a pro, an address uh, that can be given <coughs> so many disciples may choose to use that. It's no need for an intensifier. <laughs> so I, I just want to say without discouraging those who made the wonderful film who will participate in it, that I think we have to be a bit more considerate and sensitive. I, I kind of grimaced that right at the end. <laughs> the understanding needs to be there. Just as Shesha Prabhu is a governing body commissioner, uh, that means he's thinking about the spiritual nourishment, care, and protection of his particular areas and the whole world. So maybe this is a side of you that you don't see in me. <laughs> as I'm away eight months of the year. You don't get to see that the ultimate managing authority in this kind is not the guru disciple relationship. That's contained with that guru disciple relationship is contained within a spiritual institution with the governing body commissioners as the ultimate directors. So I'd like that to be understood. You know, sometimes here in New Zealand I have to make decisions 
as a GPC, not as one who has disciples. I'm wearing two hats. So that, it, unless you understand Shiloh Prabhupada's desires and how he wants his society run, you, you, may, you won't understand what I'm doing. I'm not, for example, just responsible for a few preaching centers in Auckland or Wellington. I am responsible for all the centers in New Zealand, in Australia, South Africa, Brazil, and a few places, one or two places in the USA. So, all right, it's okay that devotees see me in one capacity, but I, I, I'm hoping for more maturity and more growth so you realize that this other capacity in terms of the Krishna Consciousness Society, Lord Chaitanya's movement, you could say that this other capacity is actually more important. So I just wanted to explain that to you all. The GBC, the Governing Body Commission, doesn't want to see guru partisan parties, you know, guru groupies. <laughs> Ooh, my guru is this. Who's your guru? <laughs> Yes, one should have uh, devotion and dedication to, to, to one's spiritual master. But also one should respect other saintly personalities. That I don't think there's a problem with. It's just in various parts of the world where there's not so much experience with the governing government body commission due to isolation or just whatever reason. Uh, perhaps especially young devotees uh, resort to <clears throat> what you might call guru groupieism. <laughs> but, but since he laughed in public, <laughs> he, he travels the world so he knows what the system is. It's all right that I say that, yes? <laughs> That's why he was laughing, because he knows it's silly. <laughs> We're always going to expect a certain amount of neophyte behavior, but let's keep it to a minimum. What is a guru? <clears throat> we can turn to the third canto.